Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Okay, so this video, I'm going to share with you what is S parameters, why we use S parameters, and how to better remember what is S parameters. S parameters is also known as scattering parameters. Okay, so basically they do not use open or short circuit to categorize a linear electrical network. So instead, they use a mesh load like 50 ohm at high frequency in order to achieve a perfect short circuit, which is 0 ohm, or maybe at the open circuit, we need to achieve infinite ohm. This is not feasible. So therefore, at high frequency, S parameters are actually preferred over the other method like Z parameters and also Y parameters. I like to highlight that S parameters actually change with frequency. So frequency must be specified for any S parameters measurement. So next, I'm going to share with you how to better remember S parameters. For this case here, this is actually S11. Okay, the second term is actually where my source is. The first term is actually where my measurement is. So from here, you can see that my source is at port 1. My measurement is also at port 1. So this is port 1. This is actually port 2. So from here, you can see that my source is at port 1 and my measurement is at port 1 also. So from here, you can see that I'm actually doing S11, which is known as input reflection coefficient. So next, S21 is quite similar as what I have mentioned. So the concept is basically the second term is where my source is. The first term is where my measurement is. So from here, you can see that my source is at port 1. My measurement is actually at port 2. So this is where my source is, and this is where my measurement is. So from here, you can see that my signal actually propagate forward. So in this case here, this is known as S21. So S21 is known as the forward transmission coefficient. So next, it will be S12. Okay, so the, the source will be at port 2, the measurement at port 1, as you can see from here. So basically, this is where the source is. So you can see that they actually reverse transmission. So therefore, from here, this is basically known as S12. So S12 is actually the reverse transmission coefficient. Last but not least, S22. Okay, again, from the name imply, both my source and measurement are all at port 2. So this is where my source and this is where my measurement. From here, you can see that this is actually S22. So therefore, S22 is known as output reflection coefficient. So guys, if you're keen to know more about S-parameter, please see the description below.